Yeah, and then if I'm over here too, this is working pretty good. I can make sure no one's trying to do that. Seven days a week, 12 hours a day if you want. No one's trying to food. No one's there when I'm working. I'm pretty sturdy, pretty up. And then over here, yeah, it feels good. So if I'm working here, you're working there. Proximity of each other. So that person, that this one protects me from this person, and also that person running the shield, they're running the house. He's right there, so this is a good, another good separation uh, example. The shield comes. Down. So this operation is the rear axle. Uh, we saw the rear springs, and as this operation. No. It'd probably been quicker to make too because you can just clamp it on the table. You don't want to put one? Is this electric start? Put one on the wall coming inside of RJ's? No, RJ's has a. Has with them, but then I have another station 
where I have to separate an operator who is working up here and then So the supervisors and PDS are going to be the ones disseminating that information to the team leaders, and then from that point, and the team members come. In proximity, Holy Holmes uh, supervisor, Matt Roberts, one of my shift leads. So our trades came up with this design, and we, we did both arms up here. Yes, sir. So from our uh, trip to Toledo, we saw that they used a lot of the curtain, and they, they did like going into a meat locker, right? Yeah. They left, so you're still protected, and she can... And then Matt Roberts is... Without damage. Into the rag and then begin kind of touching those touch points on that PIV. He'll start with the steering wheel and go into the instrument panel and then work his way onto the top of the tugger. In to work meetings after they came out here and visit, uh, one of the committee persons mentioned, hey. They personally took the time, fabricated it, trial and error, dummy runs, until we got it just right. And then the curtain, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, we have S hooks that uh, can attach directly to the vehicle with holes that are already in the frame. Yep. Yep. So the, the key one here, though, Mike, is that they've got an extra person. It's, it's just one of the things, is it's a finesse thing. <laughs> This whole week we've been uh, going out and touring different plants uh, together with the UAW leadership and the local committees together with the plant management teams just to look and, and do a checkpoint around our status for reopening. They've modified stations uh, to make sure everything is safe and ready to go when it comes to making the, the proper measures and making sure that we're, we're absolutely ready to go, including the PPE we have on right now, uh, but also things like weld curtains, flex, social distancing, reconfiguring stations, really impressed with the work. We've got a few more things to do over this next week to get the, the rest of the action items closed that the teams are working on. 100% comfortable and 100% comfortable that I would have my family here as well. And my SCA family will be here, so I am comfortable. It's times like this where I'm very proud to be part of this manufacturing team at FCA because we have a lot of caring people who really understand how serious this issue uh, has been for the state and for the country. There's some very clever people amongst uh, the tradespeople here, certainly the management team here, other employees who have volunteered to come in and help with this, and they, they have some really good ideas. I think that'll make the workplace workable, um, a place where any of us would, would want to work, but very safe. And, you know, we want to be together with our teammates, but not too much now. It's, it's different. Uh, and I think they've come to some really good arrangements to make that happen.
The masks are not for me. Uh, the masks are there to protect everybody else. If I came to work and I was sick without knowing it, if I were to cough or sneeze, it would be coughed into the mask that I'm wearing, thus protecting you.